What's happening everybody? This is the Traveling Salvation Show. If you're new to this channel, we bought a motor home. We completely renovated it. Now we travel around buying stuff and selling it. And the purpose of this channel is to show you that you can do the exact same thing. You don't have to renovate a motor home though, if you don't want to. If you're just trying to re-up on that, rebuild that massive garbage pail kid collection you had back in the yeah. 80s, we can help you do that because we know it's quite expensive. But today what we're gonna do is usually we're gonna go to a Goodwill. However, you can hear the wind blowing. We are at beautiful, world-renowned Lake Oconee. Everybody's heard of it, of course, yeah. but that's where we're at. However, what they have here is one Goodwill to work with. And it is not a very good looking Goodwill, kind of like the one that had the Vietnam helicopters that one time. Yeah. But we're gonna go there, we're gonna spice it up. We actually wanted to smoke some type of meat today. So we are challenging ourselves to find something at Goodwill to make a smoker out of, a legitimate smoker to smoke some meat on. And that is our challenge for the day. Rule is we cannot like go to the Goodwill and find a smoker or a grill and be like, we got a smoker or anything yeah. like that. You know what I mean? We got to go there, find some parts, find some stuff and make a legitimate smoker to smoke some meat with. And that's what we're yeah. going to do. So, but we should find something at least to make a smoker with. Yeah, we should. And one thing to sell. <laughs> actually forgot to show you this bad boy that we picked up I didn't get it while we were in the store but nine dollars and nine cent this is an mp3 player a Panasonic mp3 player and believe it or not this thing is worth 150 200 dollars a e-ware Panasonic e-ware mp3 player have no clue why Panasonic if you see something Panasonic especially vintage check it out but Panasonic, Sony, Sony, all that good stuff. You also saw what we got to make the smoker with, and we're about to get started on that and probably list a few things. So as you see, we got some cookie sheets. We also picked up a handful of these bad boys. They were a 50 cent a piece at the Goodwill, I think. We got six or seven of them, and we are going to construct a smoker for less than $10. I think this thing's gonna end up being about six or $7 total. So let's get in there. We're going to assemble this thing inside, put it together, put some chicken wings on it, and see if we can make a smoker out of something that we got at Goodwill. That's not a smoker. Let's go see what we can do. So here we are so far. We got a good start. Look at that. What the smoker? $7 smoker. Got to have a bottom with a pan. Got to have a rack. Got to have a top. Got to have a thermostat. And we got to have a logo. Thing it's gonna be awesome. If I was a 1980s sitcom character, I would be MacGyver right now. However, I'm not figuring my way out of a dangerous situation. I am figuring my way into some chicken wings. So that's what MacGyver's doing today. He is smoking chicken wings. Dun, 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 the smoke 3033. Take it all in. I don't know if you can, the, it's hard for the mind to, to comprehend things like the car and the train when you had never seen it before. But yes, there it is, the smoke 3033. What do you think? What do you think? You think it's gonna work, Rebecca? Yeah, we'll see. That's very contradictory and ambiguous. But yes, we will see. Let's, let me get over here. Let's look at 
Let's take a look at some of the features of the Smokomatic 3033. The 3033 features a steel broiler pan type smoke surface as well as a steel base, reinforced base. It has a sleek futuristic design. It is it's echoing as I talk to it right now. It is lightweight, ergonomicish. <laughs> Lots of things going on with this, and we are going to demonstrate the effectiveness with it with these chicken wings right here. So we figured this is the best spot for the 3033. Although you can put the 3033 anywhere you like, but we like it out of the sun, out of the wind. Everybody should have rocks in their campground already, so we have a rock that is holding it in its place. What we're gonna do is take our coals, we're gonna get our coals and everything ready over here in the grill. We're gonna put it inside the Smokomatic 3033. Then we will add some wood chips and some liquid smoke. And hopefully then we should be smoking. Like I showed you before, you just take the door off using these ergonomic handles. And there you go, that's the inside. Well, that, you could use this as like a wood burning stove inside your house also to keep the family warm or in your RV. No problems at all. So what we're gonna do, like we said, we're gonna take the charcoal from here, put it in here. And about here is the pan. Should be smoking this out real good. Had to go inside and change my hat. We're gonna be smoking so good. We'll put some liquid smoke in there also, I think to really get us good smoky flavor, but Folks, I mean, have you ever seen such a creation? Oh yeah, here we go. And I didn't worry about making vent holes on this because this particular de design comes pre-vented. Pre-vented, you don't even have to do any type of venting or anything like that, I, I think. Sorry, smoking through the pipe? Well, wow, look at this. Look at it, and we got some pebbles up here to keep the uh, stove top on. Again, it, when you buy this, everybody should have some pebbles already. That's not gonna come included in, in the kit with the, with the smoker. Nice. Look at that. What? What? Man, dude. Smokomatic 3033. Yeah. A couple liquid smoke. Stick over there. Boy, oh, that's gonna be smoky. That's gonna be Smokomatic 3033. Better wood in there. What we got? Kind of, kind of. We got some mesquite. Says it is best with lamb, beef, or steak. But this is what we got today. So we are using it for chicken. Put one nice chunk in there. Let's put two nice chunks in there and get a real smoke. Not nice. Though. Let's put. One. Couple of chips on the bottom of the bag. That ought to cause some nice smoke in this. Mm. That joker is smoking. Why? Look at that. If you want one. You can go ahead and put your order in for one, but they're pricey. You, we'll have to send you a private message on what these things will cost. It's smoking out, son, and it's perfectly 225 degrees. So we are at 250. We're going to do it at 250 for three hours. Pam. Knock off Pam at that. Do anything with that. All your skateboard wheels, everything. Oh, we got plenty of room. I thought we were going we to go have enough room. That's 20 chicken legs. <laughs> Cook a whole cow on this thing. <laughs> Not that chickens and cows have anything to do with each other. However, at the fair one time when I was a kid, I did see a cow with chicken legs. Paid 50 cent to see it. Did you really? Still have room for the thermometer, the thermometer. 
So the 3033 does get kind of hot because of its lightweight design, it does get kind of hot and it does not come with these right, right, left, left handed gloves to handle it. You can got to go get your own from Harbor Freight. Smokomatic 3033, 3033, that's right, is a wonder to behold indeed. It's been about an hour. Let's check on these things. Ooh, oh, look at that. It's like 210 degrees. Get a shot of that th th thermometer, the thermometer. Man, that don't look good. Mm. <laughs> this is ridiculous. In all seriousness, this is ridiculous. This thing's working awesome. So... The sheriff's department and the bomb squad just left and we convinced them that we are just smoking chicken wings. They didn't believe us at first. However, we are at uh, roughly the two hour, maybe an hour and 40 minute mark. Come check these bad boys out. Well, we, we just blow 200 degrees. I need to add a little bit to it. Look at them things. Smoking. Mm. Man, please don't, you do not underestimate the functionality of what is it, the Smoke-O-Matic 3033. Where, where we at right now about we two and a half hours probably we're gonna let it do about 30 more minutes but folks this is what it says it is this is the smoke o -matic. 200 degrees look at that come on check it out look at it boy look at this still got another 30 minutes to go don't do not doubt the goodwill but with the thing what you can do with the things you can get at goodwill right here i mean you gonna pay 500 dollars for a smoker i don't think so we go go to the goodwill and get one <laughs> All right, so this is hour three at 200 degrees. Boy, look at him. Look at that. Let's try one of these bad boys out. People, the Smoke-O-Matic has performed beyond my expectations. We have not tried these yet, but these are obviously, obviously, look at that. I don't have to, I don't have to say nothing. It obviously, was designed by someone who worked for NASA. Look at the, the elegance of this thing, the futuristic design of it. This is something that you would see on I Dream of Genie. And obviously, 3033, the, the year 3033. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think these bad boys are done here. Look at that. I think that's a heat proof table. Looks like it. Yeah. And look, the 3033 lid fits perfectly, coincidentally, with a foil tray. Crazy, yeah. huh? All right, here we go. They all drumsticks. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's real good. That's surprisingly really good for it to be made out of those tin foil pans. <laughs> That's not just tin foil pans. That is scientific NASA tin foil pans. I didn't expect it to work. Mmm. Boy! That is good. Right, crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. And it tastes like smoke. That's Jim. I mean, that's good. That is good. So, contrary to what we believed, we actually got some pretty good stuff at Goodwill, including the Smokomatic 3033, and we proved that the impossible could be done. You can you can take anything at the Goodwill and make something out of yeah, it. You, you can, can always find something at the Goodwill. And again, we actually found some pretty good stuff, and hopefully it helped you with some stuff you might could be on the lookout for. 
If you got some value out of it, it is going to help you. Maybe if it ain't going to help you. So, But if you did think it was entertaining, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell us what you may have made out of something that you got at the Goodwill yeah. sometime or another. So that, we cannot be the only person that went to the Goodwill and bought something and that had nothing to do with what they actually used it for. But leave that in the comment section. And again... The subscribe thumbs up all that stuff and if you want to help support the channel go to our about page on youtube mm -hmm. and we have a link for a paypal description and you can buy us a coffee there yeah. we really really enjoy coffee and for the what sold we're gonna skip that for a little while if you're really interested in what sold go over to our instagram and check it out on instagram we're gonna be posting it up there the video is getting kind of long and we're trying to please the youtube gods yes. algorithm whatever that is so mm -hmm. Go over there and check that out and become a follower. We need some followers over yeah. there. Till the next time, guys, we can show you how to do the same thing or we can show you how to make enough money to get that garbage pail kid, the, the long lost one, whichever one that is. I forget. I was about to say a good name because I used to remember all their names, but <laughs> that one, we can help you do that. 2033 also has a return to form NASA technology to where it's indestructible. If you smash it, it turns right back into its original form. See, indestructible. It just takes some time to return to form, but it'll be back. Count on that. We, we're, we're working on that technology.